Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do our new Wisdom for the Weekend series now. So this is going to be for the third. This is little Delilah. I know most of you met her already, but just in case you haven't, she's our little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel. All right, guys, this is for the uh, collective. It will have a timestamp. So on a collective note, in case nobody told anyone today that they were loved, Delilah, Tiberius, who I'm sitting on and I'll put on at the end of the video, and I love you, okay? It is with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the higher good, and I do mean the higher good of our collective. Please and thank you. Okay, we will begin with Aries. Show me what Aries needs to see, please. Aries, Saturday, 3rd. Wisdom for the weekend. What else? Hmm. Oh, let's see. That one flipped right in my face. I saw it. Okay. So, you're in some kind of despair here. This is Aquarius energy, okay? It's the star. There's some kind of lack of faith or lack of inspiration or some kind of hopelessness that you're feeling right now. And what you want to do is get away from this feeling. Six of Swords, you know, this is transitioning. It's departure. The Six of Swords talks about moving on, putting distance, accepting your lessons. So whatever disappointment this is here or despair or hopelessness or anything negative at all, you're looking, you're looking you know, to put you in some... Uh, Space in between. I'm hearing uh, time and space in between. So at the foundation, oh brother, Aries, there was a ten of cups. Okay, happy wife, happy life, ultimate happiness. This talks about emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony. Right now, crowning you. So I mean, that's a good thing in and of itself. That's a very good thing to have emotional happiness, right? Fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. Come on, give me a card for the crowning. Okay, yeah, so that's the foundation of the situation there. Now, what's the crowning, please? And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so stability and harmony and prosperity. Four wands. Aries, this is your energy. Um, so that's good. Crowning you, you do have, you know, like I said. I'm not going to repeat it again, but um, some kind of, um, yeah, stability for sure. Maybe, you know, reunions. This could be Christmas parties because those look like Christmas lights. Maybe, hang, you know, visiting family and stuff, right? Now, you do have a lot of stress coming into your future. I mean, look, you're trying to see things every different way. You're up all night. Look at these eyes. Oh, my God. They're scaring me. This is stress. This is not sleeping at night. This is just trying to figure shit out, man, and look at things from every which way you possibly can. Really. Because there's something that you're not seeing here. You, look, you're, you think, look at this, that there's something in the shadows that you aren't seeing, okay? So you're trying to figure out what this is. Like maybe you have a very high intuition, with, especially with this moon card. You could have Pisces or Cancer in your chart, right? And uh, maybe you have a very good intuition that there's something you're not seeing. Maybe, uh, I mean, this, this person's oblivious to this octopus. You see behind them, like, and this is, could be with something that, you know, you're looking at this like, it's, whatever this is over here, you're looking at it like it's causing you a lot of stress and there's something that you don't see going on. Under like something shady, if gazy, okay? Now, in your actual environment, you have the chariot. So cancer energy. This is overcoming obstacles. This is having a focal point and shooting for it. You know, fast energy. Um, it's a victory. It's a success. It's having ambition. Something's either coming at you very quickly or you're moving toward some kind of victory of your own, whatever that is. Quickly, like you, you know, even though it's on a snail, it may feel like a snail's pace, but you're making, you're making, uh, you're covering ground. I'm hearing you're covering ground. Okay, maybe you don't see that you're doing that. Maybe, maybe you don't see how quickly something is taking off here, like the, the snail, because it's a snail, right? I mean, let's be real. How fast could the snail go? So you know, in your environment, maybe it's not moving as quickly as you'd like it to, but you don't see and uh, something. Okay, and this is what's stressing you out. This this octopus over here, you know, this could be 
This is reminding me of Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And why? This. But, you know, almost like somebody uh, nefarious. And like Ursula, like, whatever. You know, I remember that character. The kids a little, a little time ago. But sneaking up on, you know. Be as stressed out that somebody nefarious is going to come sneaking up on you to get you somehow, some way, or something. Anyway, you got that little fox sitting right next to you. So you got a little spirit guide keeping you in check. Right? Trying to forewarn you. Give me the, uh, can I have, yeah, please, some advice here. What, what does Aries do with this? What does Aries do with this? Okay, so now you got the Ten of Wands in reverse. So you have advice from spirit. <clears throat> really, I mean, it's just to let this go. Whatever this is, let it go. It's, uh, you know, it's a break. It's a, it's a compromise. Compromise. Let the burdens go. Yeah, you know. Accept responsibility for whatever it is you need to accept responsibility for, but let the burdens go. You're done carrying these ones, right? It's releasing all that responsibility and over, um, geez, it's over, I mean, yeah, this is what I'm hearing. Overburdened, stressed out, over-obligated, struggled down. That's what I heard. Overburdened, stressed out, over-obligated, struggled down. Okay, so here, you got a page of cups. You do have some good news coming in, okay? The page of cups always brings in some good news. Oh, look at the cute little fish, too. So, you know, this could be friendly. This is so sweet. Look at this little fish. I love him. Oh, my God. Um, so that represents um, prosperity, the fish, you know. So just in case you didn't know. This is why, uh, you know, Japanese like koi, but that's a whole other thing. But listen, um, so what I'm saying is this is going to be some good news. You're going to like, you're going to enjoy what's in this cup. Look how happy she's looking at this little fish. She's in love with him, like I am. So you're going to get some kind of good news. The Page of Cups is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's somebody, you know, in and of itself as an archetype. I like a, a, a naive little kid that doesn't, you know, they don't, they're not a mean kid. You know, they're not the one. They're not like a mean kid. So, but, um, so the information is going to be innocent and um, trustworthy, I guess. Could be something, you know, obviously immature. And, oh, it might be about you taking a new leap of faith. And there might be some turmoil about this with somebody who, uh, yeah, well, listen, you're at the bottom of the deck. Let's not go any further. You have taken a new leap of faith. So take the leap of faith. This might be what this, uh, what this page of cups is going to bring you. Some kind of offer to take some kind of new leap of faith. Aries energy, jump to the left, jump to the right. You know, jump. You've got nothing to lose. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, try. You don't want to have regret. Regret's the worst, right? Keep the energy moving forward here. So that's good. And whatever this is, this leap of faith might, you know, release burdens in your life. So there's always that. You got Cancer. You got Pisces and Cancer. Yeah. And you got Aquarius here. So, but you're moving on. Uh, yeah, I'm here and I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so good for you. Okay, let's do Taurus next. Hi, Taurus. Happy Saturday for the weekends. Here we go. Taurus, please. We, that one wanted to come right out, huh, Taurus? Okay, well, listen here. Whatever burdens you had, they are being lifted at this time. You are being alleviated of being over responsible, over, yeah, just burdened down. You're, you're being alle alleviation, I'm hearing. And this is bringing fairness and balance into a situation. Libra energy. So that's really good, okay? Burdens are being lifted. Yep. In your... Um, Foundation, you have a high priestess, so there could have been a Pisces around. Uh, this was somebody who was using their intuition. Um, it's also somebody who doesn't divulge too much information, so it's, you know, it's a level of secrecy, but it's somebody who has some kind of connection with the divine, you know, it's a very spiritual person. Um, there are secrets that you don't know, okay? There's something going on, there's cancer energy, okay? This moon is talking about, you know, look at the octopus, you know, yeah. So things could be definitely going on behind your back, okay? So you got to be, you know, there could be secrets that you don't know, things you just don't know. It could be anything, okay? So it's going to be different for all of you. It could have, oh, this is you, Taurus. So Taurus, yeah, this is, uh, the Hierophant is 
traditionalism at all costs. So it could have something to do like with marriage or religion or any kind of documents. Or, you know, this could be a judge or a pope. It has to do with sharing knowledge as well. So some of you could be in school learning something or learning a new, you know, something. Yeah, because the owl is like the wise old owl. Some of you could be the wise old owl and teaching younger. Oh, look how cute that is. That's, yeah. Some of you could be like the wise old owl teaching younger generations I don't know, traditions, and traditions. yeah, that's what I'm getting in things. Look at the little cute little girl. So maybe you're going to, you know, yeah, you're the ones holding the traditions down in the family right now. That's a beautiful thing, okay? It's a very nice energy to hire a farm. Um, you got a five of cups in reverse next. So five of cups in reverse, hold on, my nose is itching, here we go, is um, finding peace. And it's moving on, and it's contentment and acceptance, and it is forgiveness. So that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, very nice. It's almost I'm getting a feeling like a family coming back together here. And, and there's like the wise old owl, male, female, like the, the patriarch or matriarch of the family. And the, look what they're doing. The tree, because they're on this tree. It looks like the tree of life, right? So, yeah. And the holidays are coming. So you're passing traditions down. Um, you have this eight of cups. So in your um, actual environment, um, there could be detachment. Maybe like, you know, these, yeah. There could be forgiveness, but detachment, you know? Like, I love you and I forgive you, but stay over there or something. But, but there, or there's something that you're detaching from, all right? Or somebody's detaching from you or something. You know, that's what the Eight of Cups is. Walking away. I'm walking away. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Okay. There's got to be something better out there, right? Now, ooh, you have somebody watching you walk away. And it's breaking their heart. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy holding his chest like he's about to kill over him. We can, yeah. Like, we're going to have to have a coronary arrest. Look at him. And he's watching his wish blow away. You see, his wish is blown. That's one of those wishy things. The wishy things are blowing away. It's killing him. All right, so whoever this is, male or female, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Younger Energy, Page of Swords, we all know who that is. The guy with the microscope, right? Um, or female, they're watching you walk away. Hurts them. Or you could flip and switch it. You're watching somebody else walk away. Taurus, and it's killing you. You know? Doesn't have to be. You know, doesn't have to be. Either way, this is what the justice is. It's going to alleviate these burdens. Or maybe some of you are not going to see this coming. That could be it, too. They could just, you know, it could be forgiveness, like I said. And um, it's, I'm getting a very bittersweet energy. Like, I forgive you, but what's that thing? Uh, if you love something, let it go. You know, it's like that. It's like that. Okay, you got a two of swords again. Oh, two of swords. Okay, I'm sorry. So, but it's in reverse. So that means that um, the two of swords in reverse is a truth revealed or some kind of information. And you could be very indecisive too and it could confuse you. But, you know, maybe the truth is going to be that somebody's walking away. Or, you, you know, you, yeah. I don't know, Taurus. But, uh... Good luck with this one. At the bottom of the deck, you got a seven of wands standing your ground. So, yeah. You just keep standing your ground and doing what you're doing. Spirit's got gotcha. you. Whatever's supposed to be is going to be. Trust me. So, here we go. Uh, the higher font is you, Taurus. The moon is Cancer and Pisces. Then you got the, the um, Pisces and Libra. So, those are the most significant, okay? Yeah. Now is Gemini. Hi, Gemini. How are you guys? Happy Saturday. The wisdom for the weekend that we're doing now. I decided I'm going to be like the Dear Abby of uh, Tarot. You know, you saw, I don't know. It's probably before most of your time, but it was like, eh, forget it. It doesn't matter. It's kind of a thing like you go to the newspaper every day and check, right? Here we go. Gemini. All right. Here we go. Tell me what Gemini needs to see, please, and thank you. Okay, well, we got a flipper. Queen of Swords, here you are, Gemini. Large and in charge. What are you looking for? You're looking for something. You know something. You're sitting there waiting for something, okay? You're thinking about what's next is what you're doing. Because you've already conquered some kind of... You've already achieved something here. Because this balloon looks like property or real estate. I mean, yeah, there's birds in it, too. So, you've... you've, you've yeah, you've ascended, you've ascended, because only birds could, right? Now, you're sitting on top of this thing with a telescope. So, what is it that you're looking for? A little bird on your lap. How cute. You're on top of the trees, like, you're up there. Yeah, good for you. It's 
definitely a sense of, that's definitely, okay, so the Queen of Swords is somebody who's really smart and articulate, and, um, they are definitely, you know, I'm afraid to put you in your place. You got a Knight of Pentacles. So, Virgo Capricorn and Taurus, are you waiting for this person to get, I don't know, grow up a little? Is this what you're waiting for? You're a Queen of Swords here, and maybe, and is this what you're looking for? Whoever got the Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus in the chart, Gemini, you're waiting for them to... Because they're only a knight right now. And maybe... It, this also could be you at some kind of a beginning financial journey. All right? The Knight of Pentacles. But it's usually somebody else. Like, you know, they're court cards. So they're people. So here you are sitting. This is... And looking. And you're looking right for this Knight of Pentacles. Um, so maybe you were waiting for somebody to level up here or something. I don't know. Let's see where we're going with this. Oh, we're definitely looking at this Knight of Pentacles, but... Okay, so the, who's the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's very studious, grounded, and very hardworking. So maybe you're watching somebody work very hard at something, Gemini. Okay, that could be a two. You know, they are they are stable, they are grounded, they are responsible. Okay, give me a, what's at the foundation? Anywhere, anytime here today. Okay, come on. Can I have a foundation card for Gemini, please? What's the foundation of this situation? All right. Come on now. Let's have it. Okay, thank you. Oh, it's the King of Swords. Mink, yeah, look at this. Your divine counterpart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, could have been another Gemini. That maybe you wait for this person to level up somehow. Or this, this, the feminine or masculine, it doesn't matter, okay? This could be the feminine one for all we know, right? The thing is here that these are divine counterparts and you got this nine pencils. So somebody's watching somebody like maybe level up here, all right? To see if this Knight of Pentacles turns into the King of Swords, maybe. I don't know. This is at the foundation of the situation, though. So there was your divine counterpart there. Maybe they could have been somebody in the military law, but like the thinking king, very um yeah, very um, creative. The King of Swords is somebody who's a clear thinker and disciplined and intellectual, right? It's the realm of the mind. So it, it was your match. Now, crowning it, you got aggravation here. Five of Wands. What's this? This is Leo energy, conflict, struggle, disputes. So this is what's crowning you in a minute. It could it be with this King of Swords over some kind of like money, maybe? I don't know. But now you got Leo on the board. Dude, yeah. So there could be Leo in somebody's chart. This is crowning you. Somebody's coming in soon. Um, they could be coming in. Look, they want this going to play in chess. What's chess? Chess is a game of uh, strategy. So somebody could be strategizing something here. So let's keep mindful of that. And let me just tell you something. You know what? I tell you all the time. The King of Swords would be the best chess player. So if it, there's a game of strategy, somebody's... Yeah, and, and you know, like, yeah, maybe you see them trying to do this. You're going to see this. Well, this person is now, you know, because this, yeah. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Somebody's thinking about coming in here and strategizing something. Five of Wands is usually some kind of dispute. Now, oh, what did I tell you? Somebody's what? What did I tell you? Thank you, Spirit and Ancestors. I, I am so grateful for my gift. Listen, what did I tell you? Somebody's watching, Gemini, right? Somebody... The Knight of Pentacles, level up. This is a level up. This is like coming, you know, with their money, okay? This is somebody, they're watching, that's somebody that's working hard and maybe, you know, just building themselves up or something, okay? Now, at the foundation, there is your counterpart. So, these are two very smart people here. So, what I say? Watching somebody work hard. Maybe this is bothering somebody and they want to come in to manipulate because this is a game of strategy, right? This is a game of strategy. So somebody's got some kind of strategy and these two people are the most strategic in the whole, right? The realm of the minds. What I say? Somebody's working really hard on something and this this person is focused on their, you know, this, they're really focused and concentrating. They're committed to this. They want to do the best. Po Anything you do, you should do the best that you possibly can because it's a representation of yourself. This person gets, gets the... Uh, yeah, the assignment. So they're busy with their heads down, minding their business, doing the best they can, okay? Perfecting their craft. Just just not bothering nobody. But yeah, here comes some kind of person with some kind of strategy. Now, what's this strategy? Now, yeah, I don't like that already. It's like, what are you doing? You're working so hard, I'll tell you what you're doing. 
Whatever you're doing here to perfect this craft or to be, you know, like I just said, have some pride in what you're doing, like something you're building yourself here, maybe. I don't know, perfect, like I said. You, it's exhausting you. You're tired. I mean, you're really tired. You know, you need some sleep, some rest, some rejuvenation. Like, it's not all work and no play, okay? It's not about, like, the suffering. Like, you know, back in the day, they used to think, oh, if I suffer, I suffer, then, you know. Um, you know, oh, that's a whole other dogma. But here, this is what I'm saying. Um... Spirits got you. you. Your ancestors are around you and um, you're safe. You're so safe that you could sleep on this crescent without worrying that if you fell off of it by rolling over in your sleep, because you'd go right over it, right? It's not even like a hammock. Um, the feathers would hold you and, and, and you'd go right on down on that feather. You'd be fine. So, you, you know, you, you're okay. But you definitely need to get some rest and, and, you know, take care of your body. Take care of your... That's your vessel, right? That's your vessel. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so now we're talking about the three of wands in reverse. In your environment. So in your environment, it could be that, um, you know, there's some kind of obstacle or delay. Um, maybe there's a, a lack of progress in some kind of a situation. Or somebody's playing it small. Like somebody's just playing it really small. They're not trying to flex in any way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look, as I said that, look who's at the bottom of the deck. So it could be playing it small. You know, like, and there could be some delay. Oh, look at this. I mean, God. I can't believe this. Okay, listen. Somebody's watching you, Gemini. Look, they're watching. Whatever this is, who's ever watching this, person working hard and maybe leveling up, it hurts them because look at them holding their chest here. Again, with the Ten of Pentacles, you've seen that. Level up. What did I just tell you? Some, so somebody's leveling up here. Okay, and this is... Somebody's going to try to strategize something. Or maybe this was some kind of strategy that you came up with because you obviously could be the king or queen. Maybe you are both of these people with your yin and your yang, you know, all balanced, right? Who knows? But maybe you got some kind of strategy about working hard at something that's exhausting you, you know, and maybe it's a little delayed right now. Some, but somebody's watching. Yep, you got this freaking page of swords here watching, watching, watching. But whatever, their wishes are blowing away over here. Look at that. That's one of those wishes that the kids blow on. So their dreams are blowing away and they're almost about to have cardiac arrest. I'm telling you, okay? We're going to have to bring them over to Mount Sinai or something. I don't know. Look at this. Mink. Okay, so, ooh, what did I tell you? Listen, did I tell you somebody was manipulation? You better, listen, I got him. I'm starting to itch and my nose and here we go. The Seven of Swords. So this is somebody who's going to try to finesse you, okay? And the reason why I say that is because look at those beautiful flowers. You're so busy looking at these beautiful flowers that you're not seeing that they're actually attached to a freaking, freaking snake, okay? So somebody who's going to try to, like, mislead you with some, you know, yeah. And in the meantime, they're stealing the eggs. So this is some kind of strategy somebody could be planning, something nefarious. This is my premeditation card. I tell you all the time. Somebody's premeditating some kind of no good the gazy bullshit against somebody else. And it's probably to get their eggs. So be careful. Now you could have an Aries in the picture. This is the emperor, okay? This emperor, yeah. This emperor's not taking nothing from nobody. This emperor is, you know, this is somebody who's very, very dependable and stable and structured. They are the authority. Not just authority. I'm hearing the authority, okay? This is somebody who's, you know, could be a father figure or a father. But doesn't have to be because females can be an emperor. Energy, you know. I mean, you know, it is what it is. So, but, you know, uh, structured. And the, the boss, I mean, you know, all well, the kings report to this person. So let me just say, yeah, there's some stress here. You could be causing an Aries some stress, Gemini. Uh, it could be some fugazi. Yeah, somebody could be, uh, like I said, strategy. Strategizing something fugazi here. So be careful because somebody's watching you. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe they're trying to delay something too here with this three of wands. They could be like putting an obstacle in the way. So, there. Then you got Aries. Yeah. That's what the hell that is. And I mean in here. Yeah, because look at this one. Looking, looking. Right? Looking, looking. Okay, Gemini. Love you, bye. Cleveland Graham, next up is Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Voila. Three. 
Clearing ground. Cancer, please. Hi, Cancer. Oh, gosh. All right, we had to flip it, so... So there's going to be some kind of a breakthrough or a truth or some something coming out that's going to make your day. I'm hearing, okay? <laughs> ha! It's about six of pentacles in reverse. So it's about, um, ooh, some kind of, ooh, inequality or some kind of unpaid debt. Maybe somebody owes you some money. And I'm hearing the word extortion. And I, it could be because I'm from Brooklyn. But man, somebody could have extorted money out of you and you don't even know about it. And you're going to get some kind of a truth. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. Oh, my nose is itching. Here we go. An unpaid debt. All right? It also could be some a kind of a gift. But most likely than not, it was extortion. <laughs> this, is what, this is what I'm hearing. Oh, my God. I'm hearing the girls gossip with the neighbor. Like, oh, my God. That one just... Did you hear about this? Yeah. Extortion that they did. All right, so there's going to be a truth with this Ace of Swords. My favorite Ace. It brings clarity, victory, and a breakthrough. It's the focus. It's the truth. That's the facts. Okay, so here. Now, what's at the foundation of the situation? I'm thinking robbery. I mean, it could be white collar even. Some kind of white collar thing. There was a... Okay, at the foundation of the situation, there was a reciprocated offer of emotions. All right? So you could have been friends with somebody. Love is... I mean, you could have been really close with somebody. These two look like they're attached at the freaking hip. Look at that twine. Like, you know? They almost look like they need to be separated. Like those conjoined twins. That's just what they look like. So, you could have been very close with somebody. Could have been a sibling. Doesn't have to be a romantic love. But, you know. Now. Oh, no. Here goes the Knight of Cups. So, crowning you. You got Water, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You know, I'm going to tell you, I usually love the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is such a good energy. It really is. It's like the big brother of the Knights. Friendly, helpful, good demeanor. But not this card. It gives me a very bad energy with the Knight of Cups. This is like, and it's not even coming in reverse. So this could be somebody that has your heart or somebody whose heart that you have. Uh, all right, that's all I'm going to say because that heart is so creepy. Like, I keep getting that movie, Apocalypto, where they're chopping the heart out of somebody's chest like it's a painful. And the lotus, I keep telling you people, is the only flower in the world that grows out of the mud, okay? It's the only flower in the whole world that's in Japan, all right? Um, so it would have had been some kind of a dark or shadowed, tumult. it's not tumultuous because the water's, but some, something, dark. it came out of something dark, you know what I mean? It was not easy. The light wasn't shining on that 24-7. I could tell you that. So there's some kind of pain. Because you don't get this kind of heart out of somebody's chest without some kind of pain. Okay? I'm telling you that. It's like cutting the heart out of somebody's chest. That's what this is. So somebody cut the heart out of your chest really is what I'm getting. That, uh, and it's coming in. It's crowning you. Or they're about to cut the heart out of your chest. Hey, God. Show me. Okay. So King of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, this is the thinking king. Somebody could be watching you because look at this bird. Bird's eye view. Somebody's got a bird's eye view. And you know what else? Um, yeah, this could be somebody in the military, the law. Uh, look at the samurai. This is somebody skilled. Very skilled and brave. Very, uh, oh, yeah. I'm hearing piano, piano. Like, in other words, uh, nice and easy, methodical. And uh, they're thinking... Mm hmm Slow, methodical steps. They know. They could whip that sword around, though, and slice that, slice you, like, in half in a second, though. I'm going to tell you something. They have skills you don't see them. They're very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Queen of Cups. There was somebody that... You're looking at this person like you're in love with them, okay? You love this person. Whoever this is. That Maybe they got... You know, they have your heart here. I told you that. This King of Swords has your heart. This is how you're looking at it, okay? Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, whether or not you have that in your chart or not, this is your mind's eye. This is the third eye right there. So go press it. You know who this is. This is somebody with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart, okay? Somebody that you had a very close relationship with, but that tore the heart out of your chest. I mean, it's just the way it goes, okay? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Maybe, oh, no. You, maybe because they extorted you and they stole from you. Now I just want to cry. I mean, I just want to cry. What the hell? I'm getting the, like somebody put a price on your head. Like, like, like somebody had a price on your head. Oh, my God. What is going on? Cancer. I'm sending you hugs. Not like they hired a hitman and put a price on your head. But like, 
they used you for some kind of, um, yeah, it could be somebody that you loved. Now, you do got this King of Swords coming in here, so I don't know what to tell you. Maybe somebody else has got your heart. This could be another story. All right, we're returning that one because I didn't see it flip. It was the King of Swords again, though. So, listen, you know, somebody else might have your heart here that's crowning you. And now you have this King of Swords coming in, you know, and you're going to fall in love with this one, maybe, too. Whatever it is, the Queen of Cups is the mother, right? She's she's love. She's no, This could have something to do with your mother, too. But, uh, you know, kind, caring, affectionate, compassionate. So, in the actual environment, we're doing what here? We got the Three of Pentacles in um, reverse. So the Three of Pentacles in reverse is like a lack of teamwork. There's no harmony in a situation and a very poor motivation, okay? I'm going to tell you right now. All right. Somebody's got a big ego, or maybe several people, but everybody's intentions are mis misaligned. Yeah. There's no working together here, okay? There's no uh, cohesiveness. No, no. Okay? Yeah. So, you, you well, you're going to be releasing pain. This is good. You got this Three of Swords. This is what... This is what? They put a price on your head. This is what? They took your heart. And look what they did. I told you somebody's heart got cut out of their chest. Didn't I tell you this? Spirits would advise you to be very careful. You know, you're healing right now. Okay? Your three of Swords is the healing of, you know, it's recovery. It's, it's, it's the healing of your emotions and the pain. It's releasing the pain. Thank you. So, you know, if you don't go... Yeah. Like, maybe you have to release the pain of whoever cut this heart out of your chest. Maybe you have to release it now. You know, somebody that you were very close to, whether it was a relative or a loved thing. So that you could open up your heart to this King of Swords now. You know, it doesn't have to be this King of Swords. It could have been some kind of a knight. All right? That's all I'm saying. But it's time. It's time. You know, Spirit, this is the advice. Release the pain. Release it already. Jesus. I mean, get the freak rid of it. This is that's exactly what I heard. Get the freak rid of it already. Yeah, why? Because you're blocking your ten of cups here. You this king of sword. Listen, there's gonna be a tower. All right, there's gonna be a tower. There's gonna be a shock and a surprise coming. I gotta do it. Could it be about Virgo? Put your, mm, okay, stop. Um, yeah, there's gonna be some kind of surprise and shock coming. Okay, so it could be this king of swords coming in that you're gonna maybe you're gonna fall in love with this person after healing. You gotta heal this heart though from whatever this was, okay? This, it, yeah. And because look what you got here Ten of Cups, Ultimate Happiness. So do what you gotta do, Cancer, so you could get this Ultimate Happiness, all right? This is Scorpio Energy. There goes Delilah. This is a new thing to do. Um, don't worry. What is all fresh and good and whatnot? Now, um, <laughs> that's about it. That's the only, what did I say? The only card that was sticking out, right? Let's see. I mean, you got all the signs down here, so it could be, you know, yeah. Is, is the Scorpio sticking out? Uh, okay, let's go. Now, we're going to do Leo. Leo. Hold on, I'm off the freaking chair. Here we go. All right, Leo, hold on a second. Let me just make sure we have enough water for Delilah. I can't. Hold on, here, Dilly. Here, Dilly, Dilly. Okay, honey, there you go. It's all you. Okay, look, you got Ten of Cups at the bottom. Nice. I messed up harmony. All right, let's see here. Hold on. Mm -mm. Okay. Sorry about all the shenanigans here, Leo. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Clearing ground for Leo. I started here. Okay, let's do that again. Hi, Leo. How are you? Sorry, Delilah. Wow. Woke you up, huh? Got that energy moving. So, one more for Leo. Ah, hey. These new cards are rough. My God. Here we go. You can lay down. Mommy's not going to do nothing. You better, don't be crazy. Yeah. Sometimes, I don't know. Here we go. Okay, so you have some kind of inspiration here for the future. All right, <clears throat> somebody could be being seen in the public eye right now. You got the star, Aquarius energy. This is an amazing energy. This is hope, inspiration, contentment, renewal, serenity, spirituality, healing, and most of all, hope for the future, right? You good there, Del? So, excellent, okay? And like I said, some of you could be seen in the public eye somehow, some way. You know, there's a lot of uh, social media and stuff nowadays. Okay, so... You could have a Gemini around you, or you could have Gemini in your chart. 
but you're making you're making some kind of decision that's giving you hope and inspiration for the future. You're going to have to. You're looking at this. Like, there's a choice you're going to have to make. That's what the lovers means. Now, it could be about a love relationship that you have to make a choice. Or it could be about anything. It could just be a choice. But there is a Gemini involved in this. Okay? That's Gemini energy. And there is a choice. And it has to do with something that's going to give you about hope and inspiration and happiness and contentment. Okay? With your future. So, there you go. You got, it looks like you got a big decision to make there, Leo. Hold on, I gotta scratch my nose. Ah, okay. Okay, so now, at the bottom, okay, at the foundation of the situation, there was a four of wands in reverse. So there was like, okay, the four of wands in reverse talks about um, some kind of home conflict or a lack of support or um, feeling unwelcomed. It's instability. It's, you know, no domestic harmony, no, you know, no friends, no. You know, no celebrations, no no happiness. It's like you know, a home full of quarreling. You know what I'm getting? You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Like two miserable son of a bitches, or even more. It doesn't have to be two. I just don't saw two down here, but like, you know, just no no harmony, no. So maybe that's what you're trying to make a decision about. Maybe, you you know, at the foundation of the situation, you're making a decision about uh, ending some kind of... um. Some kind of lack of reciprocity or some, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The four ones in reverse, yeah. It's, it's home conflict at its best, okay? So now there might be some transitioning. Maybe you're going to transition at the foundation. You made a decision to transition. And that's what this eight of uh, wands is. Eight of wands is rapid forward movement, no matter how you look at it. Now, you could, this could be communication between people. They say that all the time, like text, phone calls, yada, yada. It also could be traveling. This is, person looks like they just got, and they're sailing away. So you could just be sailing away out of a situation. Maybe you made the choice to get, you know, for your happiness and your contentment, okay? Because that's what this is. Your happiness, your hope for the future. So now you're headed in a direction. Or there's something coming at you, crowning you, or you're definitely, look, this person is, like I said, flying away. Going after whatever it is your happiness is over here. After whatever decision you made, maybe about a love situation, okay? That was not very happy to begin with. All right, so let's see now. What's coming in for the, uh, yeah, okay, thank you. Oh, my own me. Here we go, Knight of Swords. So now, Leo, we have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the knight in shining armor. This knight goes after what they want. This is, you know, the realm of the mind. They thought about it. See, it's just sailing away. Look, this one's coming in. They're charging in. So somebody's either charging in for you or you're charging in for somebody. All right? And this is somebody that thinks about what, you know, the Knight of Swords is somebody. They're opinionated and they're direct. They can be impatient. They're very daring. And they're ambitious. And the Knight of Swords is also somebody who's um, skilled and brave. And they're articulate and they're straightforward. So this is somebody that's going to have no time, no problem coming right in. Swooping. I'm hearing swooping you off your feet. Because, yeah. But just remember, it is a quick moving energy. So, it, you know, air does not. you got to think about the element of air. Swords rules the element of air. So does air say, you know, air does not, you know, air has to uh, circulate. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so now, look. In your mind's eye, you're looking at this from the back of your head like, what the hell? Let's see what the card is. Get to be a card. How does, uh, how does Leo see this person swooping in over here? It's a lot of swift activity. Swift, this is, you know, this is a lot of all of a sudden, like, making a decision and maybe going for it. Because your dream is right here. These are your dreams, right? Going for your dreams. Good for you. Go for those dreams, Leo. Yeah, okay, here we go. That's the one. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you're going to be holding back. You want to hold back from this situation. This is holding back. Now, this could be holding back your finances, your material wealth. Not even letting anybody come to visit you. Look, there's a chain around the gate. Like, with like four locks on it, not even one. But <laughs> just stay out. You, this person is also covering their heart chakra. Their head chakra is covered with this hat. So, it's, it's you know, it's your thoughts, your words. The arms, look at the arms. Look at the body language. So, yeah, you're just not letting anybody in anywhere, okay? This is four of pentacles. This is holding back. Well, holding on tightly. And it could be to your legacy, you know, like whatever you have. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to just, yeah, maybe you're afraid somebody's going to come swoop it in here and take it from you. Maybe. I don't know. But this holding back. You're holding back from whatever this energy is coming after. You look at this one. Right? So, why are you holding back? What's in your actual environment? Two of Wands. Well, you're, oh, you're reaching for the stars. You're inspired to do something else. This is what? 
Um, now there's somebody that you are either watching that's inspired here. Maybe they have a Gemini in their chart and Aquarius. But um, somebody's watching you. And like I've been saying, this is, seems to be a theme. Somebody's watching somebody reach for their dreams. They're right. They look, they were sitting on top of this house. So they already, you know, we already established the fact that they've got some kind of, I don't know, foundation, right? We'll say foundation. Maybe they have a house that they all know. There's some kind of foundation underneath them. So they're not just like, you know, they built something already. Now they went up on top of the, the roof of the house that they own and they're sitting and they have the world in their hands already. So they have already conquered a lot. Now they're looking up at the moon and the stars, this person. This person is inspired to take a direction towards success, right? Maybe they're holding back. This, that you can put this energy anywhere you want it. Maybe they're watching you, you know, take your steps towards what's inspiring you to go get the moon and the stars now. Or maybe you're watching somebody reach for the moon and the stars. And it's killing you because your dreams are blowing away. Who's ever, who's ever doing the watching here, Leo? It's killing them. Look at their hands on their heart. And the dreams are blowing away. So, yeah. Let's see what the most likely outcome is this. Ooh, Aries Energy, the Emperor. Large and in charge. All four kings report to that one. This is, oh, yeah. This person, who's ever reaching for the moon and the stars here, this is what? They're going at it. They're going for their dreams. This could be some kind of decision that was made, maybe. Yep. Maybe there was a decision to walk away from this, you know? Because it is a bird. I mean, maybe somebody flew away. And this inspired somebody to go for their dreams. And look how fast they're going, too. And they're holding back. And it's killing somebody else. But anyway, the most likely outcome is that, you know, whoever this is, or, you know, put the energy whatever you want it. There's somebody that's going to be in charge and control. I mean, they have... Oh, somebody's going to be burdened by this. Yeah, look, we got ten of wands at the bottom. Somebody's going to be very burdened by this. This is success. This is dependability. This is stability, structure, authority. This could be, you know... The, you know, the boss, but the emperor, you know, yeah. Everybody looks up to the emperor, right? This is the one that manipulates everything. And not in a bad way, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this is the one that's in control, okay? So, Aries Energy, whoever's watching you here, or you're watching them, I don't know how this is going. Gemini, and you also have Aquarius. So, oh, and Four of Wands is Aries again, so you place it there. Goodbye, Leo. See you tomorrow. Now, oh, geez, hold on a second. What's up next? We did Leo. Now we're going to go do Virgo, please. Virgo. Virgo, can we have Virgo? Thank you. Grounds and center for Virgo. One more. Yes, one more. Grounds and center for Virgo. Here we go. Okay, Virgo, here we go. Show me Virgo. What does Virgo need to see for Saturday weekend? Night of Swords. So somebody's valiantly going after what you you have go charge it forward. And you may have air in your charge, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But this is like the knight in shining armor charging in or charging for whatever they want. Alright? This is somebody who's very brave and articulate. Uh, could be a little opinionated. They could. And they could have like a little, you know, but they're straightforward, I'll tell you that. So somebody's straight. I'm hearing shooting straight for the heart. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so here, what's the support for this? So it looks like you're aggressively going after something. It doesn't have to be love. It could be anything, right? Okay, so here. What you're going after here is with an ace of wands. So yeah, this is a fire under your ass. To be There's something that's inspiring you, okay? There's some kind of creative spark, enthusiasm or confidence, a new passion, that you're going to go after. And this is going to bring you, you know, this Ace of Wands is success and passion. This is going to bring you some kind of success. At the foundation, somebody cut your heart out of your chest over here. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Male, female. So, yeah. Somebody floated away with your heart there. This is, yeah, and this deck, that's it. This is somebody that got their heart cut out of their chest. Now, crowning you, you might you might need some rest. You might really need some rest, okay? Because that's what the Four of Swords is. It's recuperation. It's rest. It's finding serenity. It's finding a sanctuary to replenish yourself, to love yourself, catch up on some sleep. For the love of God, I'm hearing. Here we go. Show me. 
Let me please and thank you. It's coming in. Okay. Some kind of breakthrough, truth, conquest, something. Okay. There's going to be some kind of truth. These are the facts cards, all right? That's going to illuminate something in your head. That's going to make you feel like you got the key to something. You're going to get the key to something. This is going to be a conquest for you. Okay. So you're going to find out the key to something here. Come, what's the support for this? Somebody's coming in with some kind of truth that's going to make you feel. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles talks about what you've invested in having patience, watching your harvest grow. It talks about pruning your tree, adding miracle grow, making sure it's watered, and just sitting there waiting for your harvest. Oh, I'm also getting, um, you know, it's not about the fruit, it's about the seed, right? Yeah, so, you know, yeah, something at the root of the matter. What about the seed? Ace of Cups. Okay, so in your actual environment, there could be some kind of a new emotional offer of intimacy or awakening, uh, some kind of spiritual awakening, some kind of intuitive. Uh, it could be love. You know, the Ace of Cups is is um, joy, happiness, and contentment. Okay, so there is some kind of, you know, it's usually, and these butterflies are renewals. So it could be a renewal of some kind of, uh, maybe this is what kind of information you're going to get. Something, maybe you got the key to somebody's heart here or something. I don't know. Mm -mm. And, you know, I just have to say, because this is something that cut your heart out of your chest. They look like they're floating away on this lotus blossom, which, by the way, is the only flower that grows in the mud here. So there had to be a dark situation or some kind of some kind of difficulty, all right? Because you just don't pop up out of the mud. This takes a little work, a beautiful flower like that especially. Um, there's some kind of renewal with these butterflies, okay? Yellow butterflies are happy. Yellow is... So there's an ending in one situation here. This is the spirit's advice. End the situation. So whatever that is for you, okay? Death and renewal. Something dies, so something new could be reborn. What did I just say with the renewal with the butterflies? Okay? So you might have, you know, there might be some situation that ends, okay? But maybe that's somebody that cut your heart out of your chest that exhausted you, and now you're going to get a new, you know, um, maybe a new chance to reinvest in this. Like the bad part of the situation will die off, and you, you could reinvest. Or you're going to invest in some kind of a new situation with these butterflies. You know, some kind of renewal. Spirits advising your death, all right? That means the end of the situation, period. End something. If there's something you need to end. Kaputz, that's it. It's over. The Hierophant. So I hope some, for some of you this is not a marriage. Because, you know. But the Hierophant is traditionalism. It's also learning. Look, like I said, I've been seeing, like, this reminds me of... Um, uh, it's not Alice in Wonderland, I mean, even though it looks like that. It's like reminds me of Winnie the Pooh, kind of, kind of, sort of, even though that doesn't look like Christopher Robin. So Alice in Wonderland and Winnie the Pooh, somehow, this is the wise old owl, you know, so you can be passing down some kind of information. This is also traditionalism. So it could be marriage, it could be any kind of legal documents. This could be a, you know, a teacher, definitely. This could, you could have a student, you could be teaching somebody something, my nose is itching. Um... And whatever, the, you know, you, you're going to be successful at this, okay? There is some kind of success here, all right? So maybe some of you need, whatever it is you need to end. I hope it's not a marriage, but do it, if you have to, try to do it amicably. You know, or even if you agree to disagree. Um, the, you know, this really does not look like a bad read at all, except I don't like this Knight of Cups card. This is, for me, this, you know, this this is... This heart did not come out of this person's chest easy, okay? So somebody's got somebody's heart here. And it could have involved some pain. You were talking about money water. So, you have Taurus. You have Scorpio and Aries. Yeah. And there's everything else, but those are the two main archetypes. You know, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I don't know, Virgo. All right, so here we go. Hold on a second, mate. God, sharing the chair with Tiberius is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Here we go. What are we doing now? Um, Libra. Let's clear and ground for Libra, please. Libra. Libra. Clear and ground. Show me. Show me Libra, please, and thank you. Libra. Oh, gee whiz, Libra. Okay, so we have to do it the way they hit. So it's one, two, oh, nice. Three. Okay, so seven of cups. So listen to me. 
obviously, you know, we got all these options. That's the first thing everybody ever tells you. But really, it's not about all the options we have, okay? We got to go a little bit further than that. This is about, you know, it could be wishful thinking and choices um, and indecision. However, this person is not indecisive. Look at this, okay? This person has got their little magic wand fixated on one particular star. Why? Because they looked at all the stars in the sky and they were being very discerning. They weren't just picking because they could grab at anything, like getting the candy store, like I tell you all the time. Also, because something inspired them. That one particular star inspired this this angelic looking being here, okay? I'm gonna say it. Um, that that's the one that they wanted to go for. Likewise, with this inspiration right here, two of ones, this is somebody who's already, you know, feels like they have the world in their hands and they're shooting for something better. They're inspired to go to the moon and the stars now, the moon and the stars. So this is very, very good energy. You have a five of pentacles at the foundation in reverse. So this is talking about overcoming adversity. It's a recovery from financial loss. It's a positive card in reverse and it is forgiveness. So, you know. You overcame in some kind of financial loss, some kind of poverty, whatever that poverty was, even emotional, because it's lost hardship and destitution, right, right? Any kind of any kind of destitution in any way, financial, material, you, you're you recovering from this. And, you know, you're shooting for the stars now. You're shooting for the stars. Going after it with the gusto, I'm hearing, okay? You know, and it's your dreams. It's your dreams. Because, you know, the moon does represent dreams. Up there. All right. And like, I'm hearing the brightest star in the sky. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, oh, nice. Good for you. That's right. If you're going to go for something, go for Listen, the universe is, is enough for everybody, right? Shoot for this, the biggest star you can. Really, go for it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look at this. You are too. Going for it. Nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Even if you're not Libra, this is you. You're going for it. This is dun -da -da, the knight in shining armor, charging up, charging after whatever whatever it is that they have their look, whatever it is that they have on their sights. They're focused, they're going. Okay, so we know, you know, thinking about what they want. Now they, they got the chariot in reverse, so there could be some cancer here. Listen, be careful. Don't they, don't be too forceful. Okay, and um, you know. Yeah, they, aggressive. If this could be somebody who's aggressive too, but also this could be a lack of direction. Or feeling powerless in a situation. So maybe your aggression is, you know, because this is somebody who's uh, articulate and brave, straightforward, okay? This is you, Lee Brennan. So maybe you're being very aggressive going after your, uh, coming out of whatever destitution this is, going after your dreams here. Yeah. So, but with the chariot in reverse, you know, there could be some obstacles. There could be some obstacles. I don't think it's a lack of direction, though, because you definitely look like you look like you know where you want to go here. You got your, it's pointed out and you, you know, I really think that you're just running into some obstacles. How are you seeing these obstacles? Like they're going to be financially, uh, we got the, we got the queen of pentacles in reverse. So you're looking at this like it's a bad investment or, um, it's not, it's going to be financially draining. You're looking at this like, uh, with the queen of pentacles in reverse. What are we thinking? The queen of pentacles in reverse would be very insecure. You, this, you're also looking at, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse would be somebody who's very envious and selfish. Um, yeah. So you're thinking that whatever, there could be a cancer that you're looking at like this, okay? I'm going to tell you that. So somebody that has cancer in their chart. Um, you're talking, um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Somebody who's very... Uh, you know, they use aggression. They use aggression. Maybe force force their way. But really, it's because they're powerless. You know, like, um, oh, you know what I'm getting? Like, the bully in the schoolyard. They go around bullying everybody until somebody bullies them back. And then they're the biggest cowards. You know what I mean? This is what. So somebody could be trying to put some kind of obstacle in your way. And also, too, it could be to, to block your money. You could be looking at this like this obstacle, because I did say this could be an obstacle and somebody's in the way of your money. You feel me? Somebody's trying to, and it could be with this five of pentacles too. Somebody's trying to like block your money. Now you got a king of wands in your energy. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is somebody that wants you to march to the beat of their drum. Like they want, yeah. Okay, so the king of wands in and of himself, 
is not bad. I mean, it's the Stern King. They're honest. They're unemotional. They're head over heart, you know. Um, but they like to be in control. They're very brave. They are a visionary. Um, they, they take control. I mean, they're leaders. But uh, it's their way or the highway. Like, you're going to march to the beat of their drummer. They're going to, oh, I'm here, I'm burning down the house. What? All right, why are we burning down houses? Don't Nobody burns down no houses. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, in your energy that wants to, wants to try to, yeah, make you march, or you want to make somebody march to the beat of your drum, or they want to do this to you. So that's some kind of control, okay? I'm hearing, we didn't start the fire. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I don't know the words to that, but uh, it's not where I grew up. That's the kind of music I grew up listening to. But yeah, we didn't start the fire. No, this King of Wands did. That's that's so. Give me a card. Come on, come on, for Libra. Hurry up, let's go. What are we doing? Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, Libra here. We're taking this. Oh, so okay. Listen, you know, Spirit's advice to you is just to uh, you know be very resourceful. Um, you know, you have this two of pentacles. So this is, you know, adaptability. This is stretching your resources. This is being flexible. Look how flexible this person is. But also, you know, you know, leveling yourself out, balancing yourself out. So make sure you're all balanced out. Um, you know, and you don't have to play by anybody else's rules. That's for damn sure. Okay. This could be somebody who wants to control your money, maybe even. I don't know. You know, some people like that. They want... Now, you're going to wind up some stress here. You could, the most likely outcome, somebody's getting stressed out. Oh, and it could be because they see somebody else very happy. All right? They're up all night. They're not sleeping. They're trying to look at things from every, from other people's, every kind of way they can see something. Look, look at all these eyeballs, okay? So, you know, there's that. Hold on a sec. Let me fix the birds or what are we going to do here? Um, yeah, they see somebody's happiness. Oh, look at it. It's killing them. That's why they're up all night. It's killing them. Page of swords. Somebody's watching. See all those eyes? How could they not be watching? Their, their dreams are blowing away. Yeah, that's that. We're not working well with others. Okay, so there's, somebody's going to be ultimately happy here. This is emotional fulfillment. So, you you know, maybe that's what the dreams that you're shooting for. You know, but you're bouncing yourself out now. And, and it, you know, this emotional happiness, this, this doesn't have to be you that's all stressed out like this. This could be somebody else. You know, really, that wants it their way. Or the highway, I'm hearing. Like, they want to be in control. They want it. They, they got the drum, you know? Maybe you're telling them what they could go do with that drum and they don't like that. You're doing your own balancing act here. So, yeah. So there's everything here. The chariot is cancer. And um, other than, I mean, you have everything. You have wands, pentacles, and swords. So it could be any, the most predominant and only actually is cancer, Libra. So there you go. All right, now hold on a minute. I gotta fix this. I can't no more. Now we have Scorpio. So, yeah. Hi, Scorpio. Happy Wisdom for the Weekday on Saturday. Hope you're having a great weekend. There we go. One. Okay, two. One more, please. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Show me. Scorpio, please. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, your energy for the day is six of cups. So you're either feeling very nostalgic or you're having memories of the past or you are have visitors are hanging out with people from the past or somebody from your past is, you know, maybe it could be relatives, right? Right? It's uh, the holiday season. So you could be catching up with old friends and stuff. You do have a six of cups. Nostalgic. The past. Memories. Right? Memories. Being sentimental and whatnot. Also could be, yeah. Like the corners of my mind. That's what I'm hearing. You see watercolor memories of the way we were. Okay, hold on a second. We got a flipper. So you could be tempering your emotions right now. All right? Because maybe you're feeling a little, you know, like I said, melancholy. Um, Sagittarian energy, this is, you know, zen, right? This is patience, inner peace, tranquility, calm, right? It could be a Sagittarian around you, and it could be a Sagittarian that you're thinking about. Also, at the foundation of this situation, there was emperor energy, the Aries. This is somebody who's in charge, somebody who, you know, well, four kings report to the emperor, let's face it. It's the top of the heap. Structure, authority, logical, you know, dependable, stable, and in control, okay? Definitely in control. 
Now, crowning you, you have strength in reverse. So that's a Leo energy. You could have Leo in your chart. Could be a Leo around you. But the strength in reverse talks about vulnerability, weakness, a lack of confidence, someone who's like a coward. This is the cowardly lion, okay? Oh, my nose is it. So, you know, you could have somebody who, um, yeah, who doesn't have the confidence, or maybe you don't have the confidence, or you, you let me see, I dropped that one. Hold on, Jesus Christ. Really? I'm not, I don't know if I should take it, I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna just, yeah. Because it fell on the floor and I didn't even ask the question. But anyway, let's get back to you. So, maybe you don't have confidence in yourself in a certain situation or somebody else doesn't, you know, where maybe there was some control before. Maybe this is somebody that had control before and they, they you know. So you got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I mean, you got five, you got one of each sign across the board. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So, this is somebody from your past who maybe had all, you know, was very big fire placements. It could have been all three, right? Or if it's just the energies, this is somebody that you're tempering your emotions. Maybe you feel weak to this person. You know, place this energy where it goes. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so now you got... Oh, so, okay. So there's some kind of denial coming in your future. Something you don't want to see, you don't want to accept. All right? You're purposely not looking at something because once you see it, it can't be un un unseen. All right? So this is being like a difficult choice maybe that you have to make where you're stuck in the middle between a rock and a hard place. So you figure if you just sit there and not look at it, It'll go away, but I can tell you this, that's not going to happen. So now let's see what. Mm -mm. Tell me. Jesus Christ, did that one want to come out? Yeah. Page of Pentacles. So uh, here's the thing about the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is obviously somebody younger or immature if they're, you know, a person, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. However, it is the most mature of all the pages. This is somebody who's, you know, studious and wants to learn. So this could be some, you know, you could be looking at this like somebody doesn't want to have a new beginning either because the Page of Pentacles does talk about the beginning of something, okay? The Page of Pentacles is, uh, yeah, it's like manifestation, it's ambition, it's goal-oriented, it's dependable and loyal, so, you know... Like, this page of pentacles wants to be the, the king or the queen of pentacles one day. So, they're going to do what it takes, okay? This is not the kid hanging out on the corner, you know, just being a jerk off. So, now you got a king of wands and around you. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, there could be a lot of red flags with this person, okay? This could be you with fire in your chart. But this red is sticking out to me like danger, Will Robinson. So, um... So, you know, there's, it's a strong energy. The king of wands is the stern king. This is somebody who's a visionary and a leader. They take control. They're decisive. So this could be you, like, just claiming your power. It's coming in right under this Aries. So it could be highly be an Aries um, with the emperor and then the king of wands. But it also could be a Leo because you got the strength card here. So, and then, and then again, too, the Sagittarian. I mean, it could be anything, right? And then you got this chariot. So something's going to happen very fast. There's some kind of, um, it may not feel like it's moving very fast to you. But Spirit's telling you, you know, it's going, the chariot. Something's got to change fast. There's got to be some kind of a focus point and a direction and then, you know, movement toward it. Some kind of ambition or success or some kind of willpower, some kind of control. you got to get a focal point and then, you know, go for it. Have control. Like, she's got control over that chariot, okay? She's, she's driving the chariot. She's showing, you know, like. So that could be a cancer, too, around you. Show me what's the most likely outcome here. Please and thank you. The Scorpio. Let's see. Well, you know there's no way I'm taking all those, Scorpio. You know, like, I'm sorry. But these 12 signs are a lot. <clears throat> here we go. Come on. Oh, okay. So that one's definitely. So the most likely outcome, look, you got the happiest card in the deck. You're going to be happy. All right? You got, it's Leo. Okay, you got a lot of Leo energy here. So, yeah. So, the, you know, this is, the sun is illumination, positivity, freedom, joy, success, optimism, happiness, truth, openness, vitality, you know, warmth and love. It's illumination. And, you know, th this could be something that you find very inspiring with the two of ones. And you also are inspired to be successful at. So, you have, like I said, Leo, Cancer, and there's Earth and Air. You have Sagittarius and Leo again and Aries. Sorry, Delilah. All right, Scorpio. That's interesting. So enjoy that one on a Saturday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Here we go, Sagittarius. Yes, 
Sagittarius. Okay, that was an epic fail, Sag. Oh my god, this card is so big. Here we go, one. Two. Three. Okay, three. Oh, jeez. All right, Sagittarius, here we go. Clear on ground. Whoa. Hot damn. A higher font in reverse. So some kind of, I'm hearing rebel without a cause. Okay, so we have some kind of a challenging traditions in some way. Taurus energy. Somebody doesn't want to conform to the rules and regulations. They got their own ways, of, new methods of doing things around here. You also have a seven of wands in reverse. So, you know, this could be, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe somebody's overwhelmed with the rules and regulations. They about had it. They're doing things their own way. They're giving up. I'm exhausted. You have a seven of cups in reverse at the foundation of the situation. So, yeah, like I'm saying, maybe overwhelmed. It could have been by choices. Maybe there was some kind of confusion, or cla uh, you know, like confusion of clarity, some kind of distraction. I don't know. And you just, yeah, give it <laughs> This is somebody's, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like somebody that does not want to follow the rules and regulations. They're not uh, fighting for something no more. Yeah, they've lost all their inspiration here. What happened? What happened here? What happened here? Then maybe you got distracted. I don't know. Okay, so look, you got there's things you don't know and you don't see. There could have been things going on, or things depends on where you're on the timeline today. It doesn't have to be today, right? Um, you got Cancer and Pisces energy here. Nefarious stuff being plotted, secrets being told, right? The moon talks. Maybe some of you got to use your intuition. You know, there is a vagueness or an abstraction. You know, maybe some of you getting some dreams, some downloaded dreams. I don't know. Uh, Sagittarius, you do have an empress, so you got some Taurus energy coming in here. Uh, maybe, maybe you're getting downloads to do things your own way. To you know, maybe you're going to be this empress. So maybe you figured something out, like by not following the rules and regulations. Like just you know, yeah, whatever it is, there is something that you don't see. Okay, and, and it could be this empress coming in and success. You see, what you don't see coming... Hold on, I'm pulling off the freaking chair with Tiberius. Tiberius, please, can we share this chair? My God. Um, yeah, this is the success. The Empress and success. You're definitely... This is how you're looking at this. The Nine of Cups is success. All right? So you're going to be successful in something. Whatever this is that's coming in. Okay? You don't see it coming yet. So while this is things being done in the dark and whatnot, you know, it is using your intuition. It's some kind of illusion. It doesn't always have to... You know, I mean, I'm not saying that... It's good or bad. It's just something you don't know or don't see. All right? And what it's looking like, it's looking like some kind of, something that's going to turn you into this emperor, or this empress that's coming in, that you're going to, you're going to look at like this is a very successful, you know, proposition or uh, opportunity, whatever the hell. So, temper your emotions. All right? Don't lose your control. Don't get too happy. Don't get too sad. Don't, you know, just, this is zen. This is, uh, you know, talking about some inner calm and tranquility. Okay, that's in your environment right now. So you you got, you know, self-control. Uh, there is a king of wands. So, you know, this is your advice and spirit. Take control of the situation. The king of wands is a visionary and a leader. Okay, he marches to the beat of his own drum. And everybody's got to follow him. So, you know, it's a head over heart. This is not somebody who's going to be emotionally manipulated, okay? They take control. Show me this. Oh, gee, whiz up in heaven. Wow, okay, we're not taking all those either. So, hold on a second. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. So, oh yeah, Leo energy. So just be strong, okay? You got the strength here. That's a good card. That's another card of self-control. All right, there's another card of self-control. Strength talks about, you know, not only inner strength and courage, bravery, confidence, but controlling yourself, having control over yourself and overcoming self-doubt and fear. Taking control. This is a card that what spirits advise is taking control here. So you got the lovers in reverse. Uh, it is Gemini energy. The lovers in reverse talks about you know there could be some kind of an imbalance in this in a relationship. It doesn't have to be um, love. It could be any kind of relationship, friends, uh, work relationship, but disharmony. There could be trust issues and conflict. Some kind of detachment. Something. Okay, so it could have, yeah. Well, so you have Leo and Gemini. 
Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer, and Pisces. And the Hierophant again is Taurus. So those are the those are the cards for you, Sagittarius. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great Saturday. Where we have uh, Capricorn. Okay. Capricorn. Capricorn, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Capricorn. Clear and ground. One more for Capricorn. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right, Capricorn. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Here we go. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Larger in charge, running things, in control, not letting your emotions get the best of you right now. Marching to the beat of your own drum. You're a visionary and a leader right now. Okay, Capricorn? Maybe you're using your intuition. Maybe you have Pisces in your chart, or there is a Pisces around you, but you could be using your intuition and following, like I said, marching to the beat of your own drum. All right? The High Priestess, this is what. Show me what's at the foundation here. You could be going head straight. You could be heading straight forward, Pisces, too. Or somebody that has Pisces in their chart. There goes my nose. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, Capricorn, let's see. All right, so here we go. There's a page of pentacles at the foundation of this situation. So there could be some news or some information. Somebody could have got a new job or started some kind of a new financial endeavor. There's also, you know, the beginning of something here, okay, at the, at the foundation. At crowning you, you have an emperor in reverse. Aries energy. This is somebody who's excessively controlling, stubborn, rigid, a lack of discipline. They abuse their power. Okay, they're, uh, they, they're broke. They, they, yeah. Yeah, this is a hot mess. So now you got a queen of cups. Um, coming in that you don't see. Cancer Pisces, the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is, um, you know, the mom of all the queens. This is somebody who's very loving, kind, and nurturing, okay? They care. They're affectionate. They, they're supportive. Oh, hold on. Let me get this. I'm getting two different stories here. So you're looking at this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There could have been a third-party situation here, Okay. There definitely could have been a third party situation here with this three of cups. Now, this is usually saw you. Oh, you know what, too? If there was, um, you are healing now. You could be healing, you know, a relationship right now with somebody who's very warm and loving and caring that has water in their chart, okay? There's some kind of deny. Maybe you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, some kind of a hard choice you have to make right now, okay? Spirit's advising you to be successful. So, like, whatever's going to bring you the most success and happiness. Whatever the hell you got to get out of your head. This is the Eight of Swords. Look at this trapped angel. Okay, the Eight of Swords, this is... I hate this card. This is, you know, isolation, trap, restricted. This is too far short of a happy meal. But look at this. Somebody put an angel in a cage here. Like, but the cage is opening. They're going to... The thing is, is, this is overthinking. This is overthinking to the point of, you know, where you're trapped in your mind. You're in a cage you're in a cage because you can't maybe make a decision here. Maybe you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and you want to be successful. So maybe there's a third party situation and you've got to choose between, you know, it could be a water and a fire sign. Look at this. You better use your intuition. Somebody could be in a Pisces here. All right. This could be the Pisces that you're going towards, right? This is Queen of Cups. Um, yeah, this is a quandary. You also got the Empress. Taurus energy. I mean, this, you know, she's, yeah. This is large and in charge. The Empress is, first of all, some of you could be having babies, okay? Uh, this is motherhood, nurturing, femininity, nature, harmony, fertility, beauty, and art. Um, but she's in control, you know? And uh, well, four queens report to this person. So, and she rules, you know, she's at the top of the heap very successfully. So, you have a lot of success here. But, uh, yeah, there's everything. You got most holidays, you got Aries and Pisces here, but there's everything. Uh, those are the highly aspected archetypes. So there you go, Capricorn. Now let's do uh, our Aquarius. Aquarius. Here we go. Aquarius. Two, one more. Hearing in the year 2525, 25, if man is still alive. What kind of... That was from like... I don't know how many years ago. 
I mean, most of you, I don't even know what that is. Here we go. Yeah, in the year 25, 25. I don't know, maybe some of you are 25. Maybe something's going to happen in two years in the year 25, 25. Besides that, we're already in the age of Aquarius, Aquarius. There's a king of pentacles. Maybe some of you are going to become a king of pentacles in the year 25, 25. This is the energy you're sitting in, though. You're feeling very in control, very financially stable, responsible. Maybe you have your own company, your own little business. Who knows? Ooh, and the emperor. You're the emperor status. Look at you. Mink, watching in charge. You could have Aries in your chart and Earth. Mix it up if you're a cross watcher. I don't know. But this is somebody who's dependable, structured, okay? They have a firm foundation. All four kings report to them. They're at the top of their heap, okay? Now, at the foundation, there could have been a lot of stress over something, Aquarius. You could have been up all night, not sleeping, not eating, crying with the owls. Just driving. I mean, this looks like a crazy car with all those eyes, right? Trying to figure things out from every which way you can see them. You got a page of pentacles in reverse crowning you. So this could be some kind of news that's coming in. Um, you know, because the pages are news. It could be a tax. It could be a phone call. It could even be somebody, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus in their chart. But it's, you know, it could have something to do with finances. Maybe like some of you put out for a job, you're not going to hear. You're not going to get back. You know, they're not going to. It could be uh, somebody who's lazy or an underachiever. Maybe you missed some kind of a chance, like a job. Maybe they're not going to hire you. You could be burdened down right now. Somebody's burdened down with this Ten of Wands. Could be this Page of Pentacles because they wouldn't have any money. Now, you, this is the King of Cups. You're looking at this person with love or whatever the situation is. You're looking at it with a loving heart. Who is the King of Cups? That's your daddy. Male, female. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Your daddy's home to stay another thousand miles away. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? So, you're looking at this with love and you're trying to open up some kind of portal over here. Now, you know... To let the ship in, you're trying maybe to, to help this person, maybe because, you know, you can see the burdens. Or maybe there's some, you know, this is your mind's eye. You're seeing somebody. You can see them for the burdens that they are. Well, I'll tell you what. So you might be, now I'm here to reach out and touch somebody's hand and make this world better. But if you can, what do we got? Come on, give it to me. Let's see. This is, yeah. Okay. So somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. Well, you're watching somebody, but your dreams, are blow somebody's dreams are blowing away here. These are their wishes, right? That's one of those wishy things that the kids blow. They're holding their heart. So their wishes with somebody are sailing away. Oh, now I'm hearing, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away. Sticks. Now I'm hearing sticks. Come sail away with me. This person wants you to sail away with them. Look, they're wishing for this. These are their wishes. There's the boat. Let's go do the portal and get the hell out of here. You know what's on the other side? It's maybe the ocean. Right? The ocean. Deep ocean of love. Maybe they're burdened down by their love for you. They're watching. Listen, somebody's watching their dreams blow away. Whether it's you watching somebody or somebody watching you. I'm hearing that ship is getting out in the ocean. So, now you got the hangman. What the hell? This is Pisces energy. I mean, the hangman. This talks about... Um, yeah, no, you could be feeling trapped or confined, uncertain, or lack of direction, maybe needing release or letting go. Maybe it's the letting go of this person, of love. Where is the love you said you give to me? I don't know. You know, this could be trying to look at things from other people's perspectives or other perspectives, try to open up some kind of a, you know, like this person looks like they're stuck behind a wall of just one way. If that zipper comes down, it could open up a whole new world. A whole new world. Yep, that's what I'm hearing. Maybe you're going to have to work with others and learn how to do something different here with this Three of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius, listen here. The Three of Pentacles is apprenticeship. It's skilled labor, but it's also, you know, it's about being, having some kind of teamwork, collaboration, or shared goals with somebody. So maybe you got to open up your mind a little here. Undo the zipper I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, shit. And, um, and work with somebody. There's a tower coming. Oh, my God. To some, Maybe with something with a Capricorn. Maybe somebody from your past that has Capricorn in them. Oh, and a water sign. Let me just keep... I just, I'm just, i so nosy. Okay, look. Um, look at, there's a tower coming with some kind of toxic situation or something like this. But the point is the tower because we don't really want to go back. We're not looking, you know. Um... Yeah, Scorpio or Aries energy. So this could be something to come, you know, they come in, the, the divine comes in and knocks the tower down so that this way everybody in the tower has got to get out. Because why? There's probably some kind of mold or mildew in there that they're breathing that they don't even realize is killing them. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, it is chaos. It could be just, it's an unexpected change. I'll tell you that. It could be cause confusion. 
You know, don't hold on. There's no point in holding on. The staff is coming down. What you're holding on to is, is a very rocky foundation. Give it up. Let it go. You can rebuild something better somewhere else, really. And not even on top of a volcano. This looks like a volcano. Like, not even on top of a volcano. You build something on top of a volcano. You could go build somewhere nice. Maybe on the beach. I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to learn how to work with others. You're going to be feeling stuck right now. Don't feel stuck, though. This is what the Spirit's telling you. Try to open up your mind to um, maybe looking at things differently. Okay? Yeah, I don't want to say nothing about that. So you got uh, you got Aries energy here. That's about it. The hangman is Scorpio, I said, right? And Aries. Uh, the hangman is Pisces, and the tower is Scorpio or Aries. So there you go. I don't know, Aquarius. Hugs. All right, last but not least, and thank God, because boy, my butt hurts on the chair. With Tiberius, which is not very fair and balanced, because he has the whole chair, okay? <laughs> So, just in case you want to know. Okay, clearing ground now for Pisces. Stop the shenanigans. Hi, little fishies. Two. One more. Oh, my nose is itching. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Three. Okay. All right, Pisces. Let's see how you're... Wisdom for the weekend, Saturday. Happy Saturday. Here we go. Come on. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, oh okay. Okay, success. King of Wands. So listen here. Some of you right now are sitting right like in the lap of success. You're feeling very successful at something that you worked hard at. The King of Wands is somebody who goes out and, you know, they're a leader. They're a visionary, okay? They go get what they want. They don't let... Anybody rule them with emotions, they're head over heart. The king of wands is somebody who takes control. They're bold, they're decisive, they're vibrant, they're optimistic, they're self-assured and confident, they're passionate. I mean, look at all that passion with that right. So, you know, yeah. There was something that inspired you. You were in control. You took control of this. You took control over your success. Look what you did, Pisces. You took control over your success. Oh, I'm so happy for you. This is so nice. You took control, brought your success. Now you got a king of swords. This is at the foundation of the situation. So listen here. This could be you, Pisces, and you also have fire and air in your chart, right? So you can have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mix those planets up. If you don't know them, go over to Cafe Astrology and find out what the frick they are. But you could have definitely, because I'm feeling that this is you, Pisces, you could have definitely been, the King of Swords is somebody who is very smart, okay? This is like the best chess player, okay? Um... This is somebody who's logical and organized. This is somebody who could be in the military or, you know, the law or something like that because they are that smart. They think about everything. They're articulate, okay? They are brave. Um, yeah, they're straightforward. Very capable, you know. So, they know how to put things back together again. Like, they know how to, yeah. This is somebody that's very, like a problem solver. Very efficient and smart. So, and then now you got the Nine of Pentacles. Holy shit, Pisces. Look at here. It's the Nine of Wands. All right. Strength and perseverance for success. What did I tell you? Somebody took charge of their success here. Because this is not somebody standing there, you know. All right, she's cut up by the thorns. Right, don't get me wrong. I sure got a little cut. So she persevered through something, but it was her success. She took control of the situation. Okay. And this is something we thought about that crowning you is your success. Whatever success this was you're going after here with the nine of ones, you got it. And you got I mean you got your bruises and your bumps. Something's moving really fast and you're being very strong. So you you have a lot of self control and strength right now. Okay? You're moving towards your destiny. Okay? You are. You're confident. You're overcoming any self doubt. You've got courage, inner bravery. And eight of ones is rapid forward movement. So you're I look this one, scum sailing around here in the I'm here in six again. Come sail away with me. Come sail away. Right? Look, this person's got their bow. They're off. Now I'm here off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Okay? So, here. Yeah. But strength. This is how you're looking at. Maybe you're looking, like, at this situation that it requires your inner strength. And it requires your resilience and your bravery. But this is you sailing towards your success. And it's coming fast. This is going to happen fast. What's in the actual environment for Pisces? Like, this is not... You took control here. Mink yachts. You could have a lot of Leo in your chart, Pisces, because, you know, the King of Wands, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it came right in under the... Uh, so you could have Leo. And Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This, yeah, what do we got here? 
King of Swords now. Again. So this is your ultimate counterpart in your environment. Somebody's watching you. This could be another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? That's watching you manifest your happiness. Or maybe get away from them. Or maybe be strong. This is somebody who's, again, in your actual environment. So this could also be you, right? You could have been, you know, formulating and thinking very logically about how to get the success. And now in your environment, you're actually, you know, doing it. You're, you're, you're still using your head. If somebody's watching you, use your head. Something's going on here. I mean, I am definitely getting an energy of somebody watching something. Because look at that bird around the eyes. Like the bird's eye view. Somebody's got a bird's eye view of something. That's what that is. Bird's eye view. Yep. A bird's eye view of what? By this question. I'd love to clarify that. But we're not going to. Because, you yeah, know, we just did all 12 signs. Let's see. What's the... Uh, What's the, uh, the advice? Yeah. Can I have advice? Pisces? Somebody's got a bird's eye view of something. And I'm thinking it's of you being very strong and controlling yourself and sailing away somewhere to your success and happiness. And this success and happiness is something that you were very intelligent about and were strong enough to put together. You persevered. You persevered. You, the strength was there. Look at all that red. That could have been blood. It could have been your blood, sweat, and tears on you. But, but over here, even though this is perseverance and success, I'm getting success off this card. Because this person is standing with just a couple of rips in their shirt. I mean, you know, it's not, I'm not getting that wounded warrior like, you know, I'm about to kill over and die. But yeah, you could be very tired. Okay, so spirits advising you to get some rest. Find a sanctuary and rejuvenate yourself. All right, this is, you know, the Four of Swords talks about peace and relaxation, rest, recuperation, rejuvenation. So in other words, drink water, eat, eat healthy, and get some rest. Love yourself. Take a couple of spiritual baths. You know, relax this weekend. Just love yourself. Do a mud treatment. Whatever you do. Men, I don't know what you guys do. You know, go for a massage. Whatever. Get some sleep, though. You got a page of pentacles in reverse here. So the most likely outcome here is that, the, you know, with the page of pentacles in reverse... <laughs> that's like almost a contradiction. It's telling you to get some rest here. That's the advice from spirit. But make sure you don't miss out on any chances. Any like don't miss any chances. The page of pentacles in reverse would be somebody who's um irresponsible and lazy. They, they you know the page of pentacles in reverse is like an underachiever. And, uh, so you could be either watch out for somebody like this, Virgo Capricorn or Taurus, who's broke and maybe coming at you. Or, you know, Get you the rest that you need, but don't let it take you to the point where you start to be neglectful. You got the Hierophant. So do things by the book. There is a sharing of knowledge here. There's a wise old owl in a tree, right? So there could be something about you learning, maybe learning a new skill with this Eight of Pentacles. Because this is somebody who's very dedicated and devoted, right? They're doing a very good job on what they're doing. They're focused. So maybe you're going to get some kind of higher education. I'm not getting any kind of legal thing or anything out of that. So there could be a Taurus around you. Um, there could be a Leo. And then you got you, know, you got air, you got pentacles. I mean, there's everything here. So the Taurus and Leo are the, are the main. Um... So thank you so much for hitting that subscribe and like. It's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purposes only. Delilah, thanks you so much. Remember, always leave a logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until tomorrow, thank you for joining me for the wisdom of the weekday, weekend, um, and we'll see you tomorrow.